What's up? What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Yo, I'm back. So soon, I know. Crazy. Never posted another video this fast. Had somebody comment in the last video I posted yesterday. I'm asking to show swapping from drive-by wire to drive-by cable. So I'll show you both. So go from drive-by wire to drive-by cable, drive-by cable to drive-by wire. I don't have everything needed to show you drive-by wire, but I can tell you and you just look it up. So let's start with swapping from drive-by wire to drive-by cable. And then you just do the opposite of that, basically to go to drive-by wire. Anyways, so drive-by cable is exactly what it means, cable. I prefer these over drive-by wire. This is a drive-by wire throttle body. So notice it's just a plug-in, nothing on this side. Drive-by cable has two sensors. Um, I, I always forget what these sensors are called. Um, this is your TPS. This is your AI air intake temperature. I think AIT, but definitely double check because I could be wrong. I know for sure this one's TPS right here. So that controls your throttle body. The computer tells it to stay open or close, blah, blah, blah. And this one tells the computer the air that's going through it, which also helps with your mass airflow sensor and your map sensor that's back there. But anyways, all you need is a drive-by cable throttle body. You, I get, I always just get them off of eBay. Um, I would just go ahead, if you get them off of eBay or you get them used, test it. I mean, put it on if it comes with the sensors and test it, but just don't be surprised if this sensor or the TPS sensor is no good. You can get on Amazon and order the AC Delco brand of both of these sensors. I wouldn't waste your money just going on the cheap ones because they might work, they might not. But AC Delco, 99.9% .9 of the time they'll work. I'd say the Amazon ones, it's 50-50. So you need the throttle body, those sensors, the bracket, depending on which intake you have that is this is a stock ls1 throttle cable bracket so this this sides for your throttle this sides for cruise control they make fancier ones that are specific for ls swaps that don't have the cruise control side on it or on your truck you'll have this bracket same exact two spots just obviously mounts differently on top And they're the same three bolt pattern for drive by wire, drive by cable for Gen 3 engines only. So, 19, late 1999 to very, very early 2007. 2007 and a half is when they went to Gen 4. So, that's all you need for drive by cable. Throttle body, sensors if it doesn't have it, cable, bracket. Now, opposite, let me well, let me show you hooking up the cable itself. So, I always like I prefer drive-by cable. Well, let me talk. About, let me talk about this again for a second. I personally prefer drive-by cable because if you're having no start issues on your swap, you're trying to get it start for the first time on ls1tech.com and Facebook groups I've seen so many no start issues come from the drive by wire setup itself. I've had others say, well, I've had more issues with drive by cable, blah, blah. At least drive by cable, if needed, just jam a flat tip in there to keep the throttle blade open some, and you know you're getting air. I mean, it'll, it'll start, it should start by just jamming that in there and getting air, even if these sensors are bad, it just won't run good or for very long if those sensors are no good. As to where this, this is computer controlled, which you can still jam 
something in there, but it's it's just not the same because this fights it. This, this is where the computer plugs in, fights it so bad compared to drive-by cable. There's nothing fighting it. So that's why I prefer drive-by cable. Less issues or easier issues to deal with if you're no, you come across a no start issue that's starter body related. Um, these are also notorious for going out um, as my father-in-law had an 05 three quarter ton drive by wire blah 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 and it would always cut off on them while they were driving it so if it got, they'd drive it for 30 minutes it would cut off you have to shut the vehicle off let it all reset and then you could go back driving it and it wouldn't do it again for like three months but at some point it eventually was like every day blah 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 and the, the issue was the throttle body, the drive-by-wire throttle body. But let me show you hooking up the cable before I show you what's needed for drive-by-wire. So these, oh, this is another reason why I prefer drive-by cables because you can leave the stock pedal as to where drive-by-wire, you have to get a whole different pedal as where that's the harness plugs into. So every... Every swap is different. You can see how mine is. The little ball just hooks up. I don't use that piece you see right there. That would be if you had something where it would just slide over. That's where mine, I don't need to use it. So you could cut it off or whatever you want. My little ball just slides through that bottom part that has the black piece on it now and then just goes right in that little hole where the factory cable went and that's it and then for the swaps um, I always have to put something up against the firewall for these specific cables to hold it in place I just have a lock washer that I kind of opened up that I could run the cable in between and that's what it mounts to and tighten the the uh, whole cable itself tightens up to and then you come over here and so I learned today I just put this on yesterday but this isn't exactly how it's supposed to mount let me show you on the Camaro how it mounts so that's what's kind of confusing me is I had no issues with length on the Camaro so it mounts in between on the threads and you got one nut on the back and one nut on the front. Well, this one isn't long enough. So I had to move the whole thing even more forward. So it's just the back piece and the, then one nut. And it's just keeping the throttle body open just slightly. So I can push it down, but obviously it's just coming right back up and that's leaving that's keeping the idle super not super high which is kind of funny it runs a million times better than it did with the truck intake because it's idling a little higher because the throttle cable is still a little too tight and it's keeping it up and I definitely get better throttle response but after I drive it for about 10 minutes I learned today when I come to a stop it'll sit at like 1200 rpms and I have to put my fingers back behind the pedal and pull it towards me and that pushes the throttle cable back down and closes the throttle body more so after this video I'm gonna deal with uh, let's see I'll show you right here so what I'll probably do is I could probably just take the Tanya Harding and go whack 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 and kind of curve this bracket more that way towards the throttle body and that'll bring everything forward I mean even right now just kind of moving it I can see the cable moving this way which would close the throttle body so that might be the first thing I attempt or if you don't want to do that because you don't want it to look funky which I don't care take out one of these bolts and you could just slide the whole bracket forward to where it's just this hole mounted right here 
so the bracket the whole bracket would come and it'd sit about right there I don't see why it would come loose as long as you tighten that one bolt but we'll I mean you can see or take these two mounting holes make them bigger to where you can slide the bracket over that way you can just get the whole thing closer and then you have both holes it's mounted and it looks just like that just scooted forward but I choose for the easiest option which would be just tap 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 because you wouldn't even notice it was bent forward unless I told you or I'll do the next one which would be just move the bracket over one hole and just have it mounted with one bolt but I'll deal with that after this video so moving on to going from drive-by cable to drive-by wire so I've had people say I've seen a lot of people say that drive-by wire is much better for throttle response when it's tuned correctly which I can I could see why I just prefer drive-by cable for the reasons I stated not too long ago but you need the throttle body obviously you need the throttle body computer I wish I had a vehicle to show you I don't have one anymore I usually always have something that has drive-by wire but you got the drive-by wire throttle body you have a computer that runs to the throttle body and then you have a harness you have also have to switch out the pedal that has basically the same plug on it but all three of those things have to match each other they all have to match and then you have to have I should have stated this for the cable too your harness and computer have to be set for drive-by wire or drive-by cable because a drive-by cable harness has the plugs for the throttle body sensors obviously the drive-by wire harness isn't going to and then also the computer is going to be tuned a specific way for either drive-by wire or drive-by cable so for drive-by wire you need drive-by wire computer drive-by wire harness drive-by wire throttle body drive-by wire computer box drive-by wire pedal drive-by cable you need drive-by cable 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 mount drive-by cable computer drive-by cable harness I probably said that a little too fast but you can rewind it but that is that for the fella that asked me swapping here and there the don't worry about these if you saw these and don't know what these are your coolant crossover from the factory goes through these you can leave them you can cap them you can take them off it doesn't matter there it, it's just air going through there it has nothing to do with vacuum or anything hey. <coughs> oh my goodness all right oh something i need to show you from yesterday when i was showing you swapping the intake and getting this breather so this breather obviously at an angle it's stuck in there because the bracket corner right there is hitting it and not letting it push down all the way I didn't realize that this valve cover because this is a 6.0 I'm pretty sure all mid 2000s uh, LS engines they don't have that piece running from the top of the intake like I showed you yesterday to the breather they these actually have see that little nipple that's what the breather is supposed to connect to oh I lied okay sorry all the intakes have this I just remembered I lied to you I'm sorry please forgive me all of the truck intakes from the gen 3 engines have this it's just your earlier year models have the bigger uh, piece that go into the hole I just showed you on the CUDA's valve cover. The later ones have the smaller piece that basically it's just like a hose that fits over that nipple, that nipple that this fits over. So I don't have that because that's an earlier year model with earlier valve covers. This is like, a, I believe this is like an 04, 05, 03, something like that. 
So what I need to do on this, which I'm pretty sure I could just get on Amazon and get one of those pieces that go in there that have the nipple and just snap that onto. But me being me, I could just grind that end, that end down or cut it and push that all the way down. But to be honest with you, that doesn't bother me. So I may not mess with it at all. We'll see, who knows? But that is it. If you have, if you have any questions, if you want me to make a video about something specific that you need, even if you're the only person that watches it, let me know, I don't care. I uh, definitely need more content ideas. I'm starting to learn that I just need to film everything. But I don't want to film everything, but I need to film everything because I'd like to build a decent size uh, YouTube fan base and whatnot. I really just want to help people out and then build cool stuff and show y'all. If I could start making money doing this, man, I could... Y'all have no idea the cars I messed with in the past that I could mess with now if I had the money and show y'all and probably like build them and sell them to y'all. I don't know. I got ideas, but I got to make money first. So I need about 100,000 followers by tomorrow or I'm losing the shop. I'm losing the garage. But anyways. So Krusty Classics. Krusty Classics Garage on Facebook. Krusty Cuda, Instagram, Krusty Cuda, TikTok. Go hit me up on the Facebook page if you got specific money, like what's this gospel at all. Um, hit me up in the comments if you got questions about this, anything else. But hopefully next video you see is me done with AC, but I doubt it. So I will see y'all next time. Have a good one.